Guten Tag, this is Chuck. We are back again with another set of Nancy Drew the Captive Curse. We need to speak to the Burgermeister after he freaked out on us and uh, basically told us to leave. Nancy, glad you're here. Big news! The International Board Card and Dice Commission has announced that they will be accepting new games for review. That means I can send Raid in! That's great news. Only... What? I am... I have very bad luck is a simple way of explaining it. Always have. But this doesn't seem bad. Not yet, but you'll see. Nothing good ever just happens, not in my life at least. I'm sorry you don't want to hear any more of my old man problems. I actually need your help. With what? Since you're the best raid player I've met, will you help me create a new character? I know this probably won't work out, but I want it to be perfect. When you say I'm the best raid character, do you mean the only person? I'm, I'm just curious. Sure. Oh, excellent. Yes, I just knew you'd help. Maybe with your help, this wouldn't be such a disaster. I'd like you to help me come up with a new character. It is going to be based on the bare-skinned creature from the old tales. Should it be male? Or female? Females, female bears. Gotta watch female. out for Mama Bear. Thanks. Uh, that's it? Okay. Have you seen a burr like this before? Have you seen a burr like this before? Let me see. Hmm. Yes, I've seen something like that out in the woods. What do you think of Marcus? He does not know what he's doing. He thinks we should all listen to him because he has a briefcase. Any fool can get one of those things and anyway, they are silly. What is this, 1986? Not anymore, it isn't. Okay. What do you think of Renata? Did you know that Anya wants her to go? I don't understand why. She's such a great storyteller. This isn't the first time she's come here, you know. Although it was before my time, she knows a lot about this place. Anya told me she likes Renata. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Maybe she's trying to impress you by pretending to be far friendlier than she actually is. Okay. Thanks. See you later. Auf Wiedersehen. We're not playing a round of raid just because even on easy level, it's it's like twenty minutes. Yeah, I'm just checking your- I'm, I'm checking the safety of your locks, okay? Just don't question me, sir. Don't question me, Carl. Well, it's good to know that in us trying to... Back away, back away. So, so this is something found out in the woods. Um, I did see this last set. Ugh. To make this awkward game. It looks like I need to match the glass pattern, but I don't have all of the pieces. Ah, okay. So we need to be getting pieces for this as well. And we're just going to leave there. Okay, well, I guess... Yeah, I guess we should talk to... Renata. What are you wearing, Nancy? Change out of that this instant! What's the matter? It's just a costume for the celebration. It was left in my room. Who left that in your room? I don't know. It was just there with a note to put it on. I still don't see what the big deal is. Change out of it now! Oh, okay, you're... No, change first. We will talk later. She won't talk to me unless I change. Okay. Oh, hello. Castle Crier, that would be the local newspaper. Do you believe the monster is real? 89% do say yes, 8% say no, 3% say undecided. 
Mark your calendar. Only two days remain until the start of Dai, I can't say that, the Nosh Festival. Celebrating another year with no return of the legendary terrifying monster, the annual event kicks off with the traditional cattle release back into the pastures. Activities and entertainment continue throughout the day with our own local stars. Polka Prowess headlining the evening performance in the main courtyard. The complete festival schedule and competition sign-up sheet will be available at the information booth during the festival. Experience the fun, celebrate the life. But I'm assuming if people believe that the monster's real, that this monster is coming back, Mulvent Monster may manufacture mob mentality. A monstrous terror has again descended upon our fair castle, leaving many to wonder if the fabled monster as it has in fact returned. No, I do not think so, says Carl Welscher, Wel Weschler, the castle burgomeister. Every now and again, these stories come bubbling back up. Most times it's nothing. Welscher's voice may sound confident, but his eyes portray a certain worried expression whenever the monster comes up in conversation. We've taken all precautions. We're ready for everything. The upcoming festival should be a time of fun, not fear. Well, generally, the annual festival is a time of celebration and a chance to host excited visitors from around the globe. This year's event is promising to be an altogether drab affair. There is only one time I've seen the castle this empty around festival time, Welshire continues, and that was the year of the accident. Frequent readers may be surprised to hear Welshler Weschler make reference to the accident, a topic he's been extremely tight-lipped about since that fateful fall evening years ago. Perhaps the looming shadow of a malevolent monster is enough to dredge up unpleasant memories all around, no matter how deeply buried, buried they may be. In addition to unpleasant memories, a new threat seems to be building behind the castle walls. Officials worry that the atmosphere of fear and worry may cause castle residents to react violently if provoked. That's not good. Uh, she won't talk to us unless we change. I see how this works. What's this? Oh, hello. Shiny, shiny. I'm assuming that's some sort of game achievement to collect all the little shiny aspects in this game. Okay. So, so far this actually is starting to feel very small. Yes. What are you wearing? You look like you're in a cartoon. Your outfit is pretty weird too. It is? I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, no, it it's cool. Sure, whatever. Why would you leave a bucket of water over my door? I'm only allowed to watch two hours of television a week. I've got a lot of time on my hands. You know what? Let's just play, like a, round play of a round of monster. Cool. Since I was mean, I mean, you did put a bucket of water over my head. If I can't move, how do I pass? What the heck? Hello? I wonder. I'd like to play a round of monster. Cool. Okay, but that will just exit me out. But I can't do anything. Oh! I can jump away! over, and we switch roles. You'll be the farmer, and I'll be the monster. The second awkward. round is over when either all three monsters or all the cows are dead, making the farmer with the most survivors the winner. Let's play! Uh, okay. Interesting. Wait, how come I'm choosing my monsters? Oh, okay.
could have been a very bad idea, but... I mean, boo. Damn. Okay. Uh whew. Oh, that's bad. That's terrible. Well, I'm dead for. Clearly that one's the last one. Okay. This can be interesting. Just move my cow into a certain strategy, I guess? <laughs> this is either one of these two. Booyah. Monster kill. Choose another cow. I can't choose another cow. Huh. Any one of these three? Oh! Nice game! Here you go! Should I pick a set? Yes. Uh, okay, interesting. Let's see. Since this has the... Here, I'll choose this one. It's a card for that game that Carl is always playing. They're pretty cool, actually. I have a bunch. I'll give you some. If you can beat me at Monster. Okay. See you later. Bye. Uh, let's go talk to people. Oopsies. <laughs> or, you know, close the door myself. Hi, Nancy. Did you leave this costume out for me? No. Someone must have left it out for you for the festival. It looks great on you. Huh. What? Oh, that dress. It just looks really familiar. I wonder where I've seen it before. Thanks, see you later. Bye. I feel like everyone in this place is sending me to get caught by this monster. <laughs> that was fast. Did you want something else? Thanks, see you later. Auf Wiedersehen. <gasps> Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> okay. Are you back to play more monster? Not now. Okay, sure. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Okay. I'm just... Hmm. Question for me is what more is there to do? Wait, there's a... This place I haven't been to yet. I know. It, I... Oh, hello. Musical notes? Musical notes? We can keep this, right? No, we can't keep this? Why can't we keep this? Gretel, music note quiz. Interesting. I'm going to clearly need to write this down because who in the world's gonna rem remember? 
because there I know there was something with the musical notes, but unfortunately I do not remember. So let's see. Um, sorry, while well, I get myself situated here. So our E key is the green bar. And then... This is in the front hall if I'm correct. Green bar... Purple bar is the G. Yellow is the D. And the second yellow, which I'm gonna call it... Is B. Why can't we take this with us? This is, does this little girl really need her report? The red is the C. And the second red. Second red is the... Where is the second red? Is the A. So... Okay, C is Do. Wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? If I technically already know this, because it's just Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, C. Yeah. But as much as it's nice to know what the musical notes are... Okay, it's, I guess it's just if no one knows music. Or if you, no one knows music, if you don't happen to know what the music is. Is there a reason for that D up up there? Wow, this music's actually quite creepy. I don't want to leave the castle yet. Okay, that's just so that just sp specifically leaves the castle. Is that? That looks like it could be something. Oh wait, what's this? The Brothers Grimm? Librarians, professors, folklorists. Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm, better known as the Brothers Grimm, were born a year apart in Han Hanu, Germany in 1785 and 1786. Their childhood was a relatively happy one until their father died when the boys were in their early teens. After his death and the death of their grandfather shortly thereafter, the family struggled to make ends meet. Eventually, both Jacob and Wilhelm attended the University of Marburg to study law. It was here at the university where the brothers' interest in collecting folk and fairy tales was first peaked. While traveling in France as a research assistant for one of the professors, Jacob became fascinated by a German manuscript of old stories he had found. Interested in keeping the tales and the culture alive, Jacob and Wilhelm began their search for other such tales. The brothers solicited help from their friends, as well as trips to the surrounding countryside, in order to obtain as many tales as possible. A large majority of the tales came from female acquaintances, such as Dorothea Wilde and the Hassenflug sisters, Amelia and Jeanette. The first edition of Kinder Kinder und something children's and household tales was published in 1812 and contained 86 different tales with success of the first with the success of the first edition the brothers Grimm continued their search for t additional tales though they attempted to keep the tales as true to the original telling as possible the first edition was thought to be unsuitable for young children as a result, each subsequent edition of the book was edited slightly in order to make the stories more suitable for all audiences. The second edition, released in 1815, contained 70 new tales and five more editions followed over the years. The final seventh edition had 210 tales still seen today. The fairy tales were not the only well-known project from the Grimm's. They also started work on I can't say that, a detailed German dictionary that traced the origins of German words, though they were only able to publish a small portion of the massive undertaking in their lifetimes. The dictionary was such a large project that it was completed, it wasn't completed until nearly a hundred years after their deaths. Jacob Grimm also invented Grimm's Law, a formula that explained how consonants changed across languages. 
By the end of 1850s, Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm had received numerous honors and rewards, where members of the Goten, Go, Gotigen Seven been librarians to the kings and respected throughout the world before their deaths in 1863 and 1859. Their names live on forever as one of the foremost folktale collections of all times. And with that, I'm going to have to end the set here. So thank you for liking if you liked. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for commenting if you commented. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. And until next time, guys. Bis später.